talking about going nuts talking about being proud of being british some of you have probably seen this video on social courtesy of shadeborough graphic video of a prison officer and inmate having sex in hmp wandsworth goes viral legitimately one of the most hottest things you've seen in your life and also one of the most scariest gruesome and downright diabolical things you've seen in your life both sides maybe one of the most hottest pieces of adult content you've seen but also somewhat downright deplorable <laughs> that this is happening in a flipping prison so if you're not aware this viral this video went viral on uk social media maybe it's not going viral on your side of it but on my side of things uk social media this video went viral that shows this guy these two guys in their prison cell right one guy's recording a video of his friend banging one of the screws in their fucking room and it's not like a old video it's a current video and he's in there smoking a joint number one right in his room in his cell sorry room in his cell and his friend has got the prison officer bent over with her fucking face facing the fucking door <laughs> smashing her from behind while he's covering her mouth so she doesn't make too much noise and people don't come and see anything a prison officer and then it gets discovered that this prison officer is some sort of only fans girl she's also in a polyamorous relationship and shit but she's obviously a very attractive kind of conventionally looking sex worker type of girl and the first thing that i thought about when i saw the video i was like how come they employ people that look like her in a prison not to be like you know judgy and shit but i didn't think they would employ clearly attractive horny people in a prison maybe in like a correctional facility but in an actual prison prison i didn't think it made any sense to hire somebody that looks like that because more than likely you know shit's gonna happen <laughs> it's just crazy like maybe you should hire some you know some hags hire some absolute cows that might be way more applicable to a prison but hiring someone that looks like this in a place where people are doing life sentences right surrounded by other men in a place where people are extremely if, any, if there is a place you know i think i don't know if, if this is fair to say but i'd imagine uk prisons are probably way more homophobic than us prisons by you know by comparisons so most likely a lot of those guys are just you know refusing to do anything it's not like they're going to the other side because they're in prison for so long so they're deprived and then you're li literally putting a plate of fucking meat in front of them fresh meat on a fucking platter what do you expect them to do but in this particular case i'm wondering this is another case of like the viral virus because what would possess you what would possess you as a prison inmate to upload this video on the internet if this is the situation that you have if you have some baddie you have some ig fought you have some of whore some slaw who's willing to risk her job and her freedom to bang you in a dingy prison cell with your fucking celly in the back smoking a joint why would you share this on the internet why would you mess up such a good situation you're probably in there for like what let's say the only reason why you do this anyway is because you're probably in there for a long time i'd imagine if you're in there for a parking ticket you're not gonna bother trying to you know smash a fucking prison guard but if you're doing more than five years i get it right boys brains go crazy you need some contact you need to touch some cheeks slap some cheeks whatever you do need to be done but why would you mess up such a great opportunity because i'd imagine more than likely there isn't a lot of women that work in prisons that look like this lady it's not likely right it's not likely i would imagine to be the case she's not probably the quintessential prison guard right you get the opportunity to be in a prison where a late because again one's worth as well I'd, 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 just just to say as a throwing out something here i'd imagine it's probably made up of a lot of like youngish guys right under what between like 25 and 45 you know road dudes about it gifted the gab you know they've got some bodies on them girls like that a bit of rough on them and shit they might have acid attack some old lady you know they've got some reps they've got some straps on their shoulders and shit so certain type of woman will be attracted to that shit why 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 would these guys mess up the situation it's all because of the viral virus they're most likely going to get in trouble themselves they're probably going to get time added to their sentence 
this woman's probably going to get fired or she's already been fired. She's probably going to get some time in jail as well. And you baked up the entire thing. The prison's probably going to impose new restrictions, new security measures, become more tight. All because you wanted to go viral on social media. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it was viral. Yeah, it was cool to see the video. Yeah, it looked like some scene you might see in Naughty America. Cool. Pornhub X videos thing. Fair enough. They're probably going to make parodies off of this. But why would you mess up such a great opportunity for yourself? Why would you do that? I just can't figure it out. It's so fucking bizarre. And the girl involved is clearly loving it because there's a part of it where the guy clearly shows the camera and goes in front of her face and she's like moaning and groaning and shit. The guy's covering her mouth. And then I think people are freaking out. Honestly, it, only in England. Look at the difference in England, right, of the responses. Guys online are freaking out that the dude was kissing this woman. Like, oh, no, you can't kiss her because she's a slag. It's like, bro, surely the kiss should be the least of your worries. That this guy is banging this woman raw dog in a prison. So, <laughs> that should be maybe the most concerning thing, no? People are more concerned that this guy's kissing this girl. It's like, uh, <laughs> what do you guys do then when you're having sex? You just not kiss people. Honestly, British lads, man them are the oddest people, I swear to God. Man them in the UK are the oddest people. What do you do when you're smashing? You just don't kiss. What she has to be a virgin, and then you have to, and then you're allowed to kiss her, because there are some guys in the UK who believe you shouldn't kiss girls in clubs. That's fucking dumb, right? The amount of fucking foundation I've had on my face over the years, bruh. Man, put up Michael Jordan numbers back in the days, right? <laughs> That's the funnest part about going out on a night out, right? About kissing somebody that you think looks like Lauren London, then you get back home and that person looks like Lizzo. Do you know what I mean? That's the funnest thing. That's the funnest part. Literally tonguing down some stranger somewhere and then having some boy on the side of your face. That's the funnest part. Roll the dice, man. Have some fun. Bruv. Man's out here kissing randoms, saying I love you to randoms. Like, rago, rago. This is what you do when you're outside, bro. If, are you outside or are you not outside? If you're outside, you kiss randoms and you say you love them. Not even just to secure the cheeks because you feel it. Not even just to secure because you actually feel it at the moment. I love you, man. I don't, hold on what's your name again yeah i love you fuck it <laughs> who hasn't said i love you to someone they don't know who hasn't said i love you to someone they don't know just because they felt it in a moment i know i have huh i know i have man didn't want to be out there and pretend like oh no I'm, I'm a gangster i only kiss girls that i'm gonna wife i only kiss baddies bro i've lips down ones i've said i love you to zeros it is what it is it's all numbers on the fucking board. And if it was me and I was in prison and I was doing a fucking bird, right? And I was doing, I was on fucking IPP or whatever that shit is. I was, I was on a proper M charge, 30 plus years. And I had some prison guard, some Lithuanian, Portuguese, wherever this woman is from, right? Some Polish, wherever this woman's from. You know, those girls, they love bad boys, right? If I was in there, she liked me because I was a bad boy, right? And I was getting to... Smash this woman behind the fucking prison door in front of my fucking towel that was covering the little hole there, right? And she was in there, and I'm smashing this on her fucking makeup and lipstick, is, and her fucking Joe Malone lipstick is covering is all over my fucking fingers as I'm trying to close her mouth and make sure she doesn't moan too much. If I'm that situation, I'm not recording it and uploading it on the internet. It's absolutely insane. Even recording it on your own phone is really, really dumb. Because if you your phone your room gets searched and they look through your fucking um phone and see all the shit you got on it, you're gonna get in trouble still. Just keep that in your brain, man. Why don't niggas have fucking memory banks in here? Why don't people have fucking you know brain lacy? Right? Have a have a lacy drive in your fucking brain and just store what's happening in your fucking brain and then replay that back later. Make your brain a fucking memory stick. You don't have to fucking record everything like a fucking loser. Honestly, I'm I'm just shocked by this. Number one, that it's happening. I didn't know they hired baddies in fucking jails. And number two, I'm shocked that this guy would fuck up such a great thing. And also, number three, people complaining that he kissed her. I'm like, bruh, wouldn't you kiss her if you saw her down the street? Wouldn't you kiss this girl? <laughs> <laughs> why wouldn't you you're already doing 35 years anyway <laughs> you're already doing 35 years fuck it <laughs> you're doing 35 years fuck it man kiss her 
get t- whole tongue in all sorts, bruv. Saliva, we're exchanging. Anyway, there's an update on this. There's an update. Of course. Wandsworth female prison officer, ex-officer, but she got fired, appears in court accused of having sex with an inmate in X-rated film after arrest at Heathrow. So she was trying to leave the country, bro. This woman was trying to leave the country. <laughs> she was trying to leave the country. What are you doing, bro? Stay at home. Put a little cheeky wink emoji on your social media. Put your OF fucking link in your bio. Her OF will be going crazy. She just stayed at home and just leant into it and was like, oopsie, and did like that. Or maybe did the kind of the monkey eye emoji thing, eye covering with a little eye popping out or the eyes to the side. Come on, bro, man. You would have made so much money. Maintain composure. Don't run away. You're not going to get out of the country. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Anyway, let's read the article courtesy of the Daily Mail. The female prison officer accused of being accused of being filmed, accused, you know, that's her, man. We know that's her, was arrested by police at Heathrow Airport today. The Metropolitan Police launched an urgent probe on Friday after officers were made aware of a video said to have been filmed inside HMP Wandsworth. Linda de Souza Abreu, oh, Portuguese lady, innit? God damn. You know, she was throwing that shit back like she was in fucking Nando's. You know, innit? You know she was throwing that shit back like she was in fucking Nando's. Like, wow, go on. Eh? Cool. So, Linda de Souza Brew 30, who works as a guard at the prison, was apprehended in Heathrow on Saturday before a flight to see relatives in Madrid. Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. Relatives. Relatives. She was attempting to travel on a Portuguese passport. <laughs> she thought she was clever. She thought she could leave the country under her Portuguese passport. Oh, yeah, they won't know me because they know me as, like, Lady L, right, on the streets. But actually, my name is Linda. <laughs> Mr. Souza appeared at Oxbridge Magistrates Court in West London, today charged with misconduct in public office by engaging in sexual... That's actually a charge, you know. There's actually a charge that exists that is called engaging in sexual act with a prisoner in a prison cell. God damn, bro. And that's her. Come on, bro. Come on, man. I've lips worse in Dawson. I've lips worse in Hackney. I've lips worse in Peckham, New Cross, Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool. I've lips far worse. Far worse. People that you'd look and you think, oh my God, I can see them. Oh my God. People that you'd literally see and you'd scream if you saw them. You'd scream. Oh my God, I can see them. Oh no. You'd scream. I've lips. I'd be tonguing this down like, ah. Do you know what I mean? I'll be spelling my name on her face, bro. Uh, A-G- uh, yeah. I'll be spelling her name on my fuck with my fucking tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's her in the court. Nice illustration of her. Right. Even look, she even looks bad in the illustration. She's even a baddie in the fucking illustration. Somebody drew a picture of her using fucking pastel with using chalk fucking pastels. Right? Somebody drew a picture of her and she still looks like a baddie. Come on, bro come on man come on wearing a custody issued gray tracksuit she spoke only to confirm her name date of birth and address prosecuting niam niam madonahu told the court mr sozo was apprehended at heathrow airport where a flight had been booked for madrid i believe that she was had relatives living there a portuguese passport was seized by police when she was apprehended she's portuguese national with a portuguese passport defending garrity was that Gariardi, look at that name gayati you know of course gayati is defending her gayati yoga yo yogaraja gayati yogaraja said that mr Souza had notified hmp ones of telling them of her trans travel duly passed on scotland yard the 30 year old was granted conditional bail and will appear in the plea the case and hearing on july 29th Yo, god damn. She must remain at the Southwest London address given to the court. Her, pu- her Portuguese passport must remain with the police and she cannot make any attempt to retrieve it. She is forbidden from applying or being in possession of international travel documents and she is handed over her Portuguese identity card. Mrs. Souza is also forbidden to enter any UK port or be and must be electronic. Oh, she's got a tag. She's also got tagged. Yo, that, that sex is not worth it, innit? Her record is probably done forever. Her judge prospects are all but finished. But her OF should go up. Her OF should go up. 
Her OF should go up. Her job prospects are all but fucked, but her OF should go up. The only issue that she has, maybe she's not like, because that's the thing. Every guy assumes all girls that do OF are slags, but that's not the case. Some people just do OF because why the fuck not? So if she's not a slag and she's not that confident in like pursuing that adult entertainment sex work stuff, she's going to be kind of fucked in it because she can't get a regular job anymore. That's the only issue. But if she doesn't mind changing her entire persona and really leaning into this OF thing and just forgetting being an employed person and just riding that train until the wheels fall off, she should be fine because this exposure should help her. But if she wants to be a normal, regular, regular civilian, that, that life is over. A prison service spokesman said staff corruption is not tolerated and former prison officers allegedly f featured in the video has been reported to the police. It'd be inappropriate to comment further while they investigate. Bruh. What happened to the, what happened to the, the, the other guys that actually banged at them? What happened to them? Are they in trouble? And I also wonder, I also wonder, I'm also wondering, how gay is it? How gay is it? to be in a prison cell with your Cody, with your guy, and be filming him banging a prison guard. How gay is it? Because a lot of those guys in there are incredibly homophobic. Incredibly homophobic. Like, even wearing pink for some some of those dudes in prison is like, you know, scary. And it's almost like you're, you've literally sucked a dick if you wear pink. Or you don't wear no socks with your fucking loafers. But how gay is it? How gay is it? to be in a prison cell with your boy and as he's smashing you like guide his piece in and shit you hold his piece and you guide it in yeah bro go on go on go on you zoom in you go underneath and you start zooming in like that how gay is that you start zooming into his face as he's moaning and groaning you start zooming into his butt like how how gay is that actually is that more gay than actually gay sex or is that gayer i'll go as far as saying it's actually gayer <laughs> <laughs> I'd go as far as saying it's actually gayer to film your boy smashing somebody in the prison cell, having all that his sex must in the air, you enjoying it, maybe you getting off on it as well, cucking yourself in the corner, waiting for your turn. I think that's way gayer than actually gay sex. No one can disagree with me on that one. I don't care what anyone says. That's actually way fucking gayer. There's actually a weird update here where she's coming out of the prison covering her face. She looks like she's smiling. If I scroll up on the shade, bro, there's a post of her where she's leaving the prison and she looks like she's smiling um, as she's leaving. I don't know why she's covering her face because, you know, girl, let people see who you are. Put the OF URL on your, on your fucking hoodie or something. Like, come on, man. Push, 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 push. This is your only time to fucking enjoy this moment. Like, push. She's out here covering her face. Why are you covering your face, babes? Let the people see who you are, innit? Uh, fuck it. There she is. Disgraced former police officer Linda de Souza Abru leaves court with new bail conditions. And there she is hiding her face. I don't know why she's hiding her face, man. Let people see who you are, babes. You get me? Fuck them. Obviously, there's them confirming it here in fucking court. And we see, the, obviously, the video. God damn. But like I said, one of the most aggressively hot videos you've seen in your life. But also, Wow. The prison system is all messed up in it. Imagine hiring OF girls to be prison guards and then being surprised when they do OF things. Imagine. Imagine hiring an OF girl, giving her a job in a male-only prison with guys who are doing serious time, no contact with the outside world, and expecting them to not get up to any sorts of madness. And then being shocked. Like there must be a real lack in prison guards in the moment. It must be such a hard, it must be such a hard place to employ. People, you know, people just don't want to work in those type of conditions. The hours they do, blah blah blah. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Imagine walking in in your first day and you're in prison, and you see her as your prison guard. She's coming. She's coming to tell you to fucking, you know, lights out, Aggie. Lights out, <laughs> Aggie. Lights out, <laughs> Aggie. Lights out. <laughs> Imagine you're in prison. Just her voice. <laughs> Just her voice might make you might make you bust. Just her voice through the door, banging her baton on the fucking door might make you bust. Just her voice. Lights out, well, Aggie, lights out. <laughs> Yo, she's in there with red lipstick and shit. You're just like, 
you you haven't seen your own girlfriend has abandoned you your parents haven't seen you your relatives are disappointed in you and she's like lights out <sighs> bro i'm ready to buzz already buzz but yeah free linda man free linda she did nothing wrong free linda she did absolutely nothing wrong the boys that recorded her are idiots they fucked up a good situation the prison that hired her are dumb she's an of girl doing of things what do you expect free linda free linda bang your doors free blood clot linda that's what i have to say about that one what you guys saying every one of those guys has a hustle exactly if i'm the judge i'm dismissing her case and sliding in the dms big up cloud k20 Asad says, I'll be there for emotional support. Exactly. Remember the down and cop friends incredible. But I'll kind of on her her blaming them and making it seem like she was molested or it was a what was it? She made it seem like it was some like power thing and she was like oh, Shut up, man. Shut up. Hey yo, big up fashion road man. Wild one, wild one fashion road man. What you saying? There are much harder jobs they pass, they pay less. OF doesn't surprise me because it's so lucrative. People becoming millions of it. So I get it. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know why she just doesn't. She needs to lean into the OF thing. I'm assuming she'll be fine anyway. She'll do the circuit of the UK podcast and shit. She might even appear on Love Island. She'll be fine. Um, I'm sure she'll be fine money wise after the whole thing goes down. I'm sure of it. Um, fucking Jordan's been able to make an entire career off of you know having fake boobs and being a slag i'm sure she'll work it out not making no f but getting hit by a prisoner on camera Ex no that's the thing Assad. i think she has an of she just wasn't promoting it again I, I don't know i think uk people are just way more we're not as unapologetically maybe you're not horny we're not as unapologetically like clout chasey as maybe us people her being shy is probably her best her probably her worst trait trying to be reasonable and trying to be like fuck all that shit you're into some degeneracy shit man lean into it forget all this kind of like like fuck all that shit um someone somewhere out there has already busted to that sketch <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> chin needs to go to that jail and get some <laughs> now even chin will fumble in that jail chin will definitely fumble in that jail chin will definitely fumble he'll fuck it up for sure perry perry yeah exactly she was backing it up like that perry perry i'd give it up on the first date but we had friends <laughs> for a while anyway typically <laughs> being a coiler i'd let az kiss me but i'm not smashing <laughs> oh, not gonna lie some some of these some of these victims i had they had no choice i'm not gonna lie some of these victims i had they didn't really have a choice and I'm not saying it in a Delia way or in a Epstein way or in a fucking Bill Cosby way, but let's just say some of my victims had no choice, you know? One one minute I'm here, one minute I'm there. You know what I mean? One minute I'm here, one minute I'm there. <laughs> they didn't really have a choice. <laughs> 